In Jesus' name. Not your man servant now, God. So speak your word. Not your man servant, oh God. Bless these your people. As you see fit, God, do this, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I will give your name the glory and all of you. Show up like you always do. Bless me like you always do. Teach me like you always do, God. Yes, Lord. For I found no greater teacher than you. Yes, Lord. Found no greater provider than you. So I give you my everything. I don't loan my life to you, I give my life to you. I don't share my life with you, I give my life to you now, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let the word that come out of my mouth be not my word, but your word. Yes, Lord. Though that here the word would understand, oh God, that Jay has been moved out of the way. That you can be glorified. Father, as you are glorified, let the enemy be petrified. Yes. Let them be afraid for what God's people is going to do in this season. God, I ask now that you would open the window of heaven and pour this room out a blessing that they will not have room enough to receive. God, share your riches with them as long as they uphold your righteousness. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the devourer that is trying to eat up the home to the children. I rebuke up the devourer, I rebuke the devourer that's trying to swallow up the finances in this season. I rebuke the devourer has tried to destroy our thoughts and our process to greatness. God, let us step in this season called easy. In the name of Jesus, I believe it. This is your servant, your man, sir. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I was with Pastor Cheney uh, yesterday, I mean the day before yesterday, and he said to let you know that you are going to walk in this new season in 2014 called Easy. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Bishop, Bishop Cheney said, tell your people. Now, don't, you, don't you forget to tell your people. <laughs> don't you forget to tell them. And I said, Bishop Cheney said, See's called easy. Yeah. See that. I'm telling you, I feel in the Lord, I feel in the spirit. I'm telling you, I feel in the spirit. I'm telling you, it's a spirit called easy. See's called easy. We have the hearts. We have the hearts. That's a 
Willis, we have no hard season. We walk in and do it. Season for easy. 2014 will be the season of easy. I hear him in my head like, like I was sitting right beside him. He'll fall asleep and wake up and say, It seems to go easy. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How many of you believe it? I believe that we're about to embark on this season of all of this. All of the hard things. We done got over the mountain, y'all. Yes. We done went up the upside and hit the top. Now we're coming on down. And it's easier to come, go down than we is. Amen. Listen. The sermon that I'm going to minister to you is called I Will Enter Into This Covenant. I will enter into this covenant. I'm not, I'm going to try not to preach. And I'm going to try to teach this. Have you ever wondered why God has loved <coughs> and has chosen you over Whoever he chose you. Why do God love you? Why do God. Chose you. Why did, why did he choose you? Because you could have been anywhere. At any time. Doing anything. But God. Has been right there. With you. The entire time. Mm -hmm. How many of you agree to that? Amen. Well, the question, why have you chosen him? There's so many different religions out here. Mm -hmm. Not only did God chose you, but you choose him. Amen. And after all that you have done, Nevertheless, God has never left you. He's been right there with you through the rough, mm -hmm. through the tough, through the thick, through the thin. Yes. He been, he's been right there. He promised that he would never leave you. And he has done exactly what he promised. Even when you felt like giving up, God didn't give up. Even when you felt like throwing in the towel, God never threw in the towel. Why? Why didn't God give up on you when you cursed him to his face? Why didn't God give up on you when you promised him something and you didn't follow through? Him? These questions should ring in your mind. <laughs> and if you have not asked yourself these questions <coughs> and have not gotten an answer then you should feel incomplete if you don't know why God has chosen you and you have chosen him there should be a void somewhere in your life should be something missing. Are you listening to me, believers? Are you listening? Yes, Lord, yes. Why does God make promises and commitments to me? Mm -hmm. Put your neighbor and say, a covenant. A covenant. It's about time that we learn about a covenant. We need to understand a covenant. Now, this word covenant is described in the Webster as a promise to engage in or to refrain from a specified action. Either I'm going to get involved or 
Why are you touching me? Come on now. Say that. That's the covenant. The covenant is, I promise you that I'm going to get involved in this. I promise you that when you cry, I'm going to wipe your tears. I promise you by my stripes, you are healed. I promise you, this a covenant is when I promise you. I promise you I'm not going to have nothing to do with fear. Because I didn't give you the spirit of fear. I refrain from you being afraid. But tell you something, whenever you're afraid to do something, God is not there. Because he didn't give us what? Spirit of fear. So God refrains from some things. Don't think that God is in everything. That's right. God ain't in everything. You decide to go your own way and leave God. You think God going with you? You think God is, is for it? Listen to this. Understand that the promises of God becomes his covenants with us. Yes, Lord. We must learn that when God promises us, he locks in a covenant. Amen. Amen. There are things that he promises he will do and things that he promises he will not do. And all that is combined together becomes a covenant. The covenant is those things that he said he would do and those things that he said he will not do all combined. So how do you make a covenant? You make a covenant by saying what you will and ain't going to do. In order to make a covenant. See, and, 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 and some of us that are married in relationships, but you know that's what you made? That's right. Don't you know that that's what you made? <laughs> the only way a relationship can be developed is through a promise. Are you listening? Amen. Now, that's not a quiet in here. It's through the promise that was placed, that was that was put into a place to satisfy the term. Mm -hmm. Did I lose you? The only way relationships can be developed is through the promises uh -huh. that was put into place to satisfy a term that was created that create the kind of relationship that is being built. For example, when you get married, there are promises that you got to make. To death do we call. For better or worse. To sickness and health. You got to do those things in order to say you married. Married. In order to say you married, you got to have things in place that say, you know what? This is what I promised to do. That's right. That's right. I don't want no mic today. I don't even want to fight for that. I want to preach. This is what I promised to do. And this is what I will not do. If I'm going to be mad to you, I ain't going to be with you if you got to have every other woman on the side of the street. I can't That's you. right. So I, I ain't hear no women say amen. Amen. Okay? Maybe you like it when your man goes on. Amen. Jesus. Lord, help us. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2014 for me, right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> there has to be some things that you will refrain from. That's right. Something I ain't going to do. I'm not going to be in this house take care of it all by myself. And you don't do nothing but sit on your hand. Amen. 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 Some things that I must refrain from in order to keep this relationship yes. strong. Right. 